Like, look at this. It even says, like, right here. Hold on. Oh! Oh! So this is the map of the Forsaken Fen. These maps don't really help too much. I think it just tells you like the main area you're supposed to go to. Oh look, it's like a super lightly hand-drawn map. It's kind of fun. Right. Not a word chat, not a word. Stop it. I think my head needs more spikes. I said it once and I'll say it again. I love the ammo mechanic in this game. Does the lamb not do anything this fight? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the lamp actually does it. I got poisoned. This boss is awesome, dude.
Auto target would stop missing. Bad? Oh, Not boss, bad. That was fun. If you please. That was fun. And now I can't play anymore on this character. Now I have a sad. Okay. Well, let's make a new character. Okay, that was fun. That was great. Cool. All right. Big thanks again to Hexworks for giving us an early look at this game. We have reached the embargo point, so we have to start a new character. I want to try a big old heavy hitty, just smash a Rooney character. So we're going to try that. But that was a, uh, a spear character with agility. So now I want to try a, actually, you know what? Watch this for anyone that hasn't seen it. Did I finish a game? Oh, no, no, no. We just, I just hit the embargo point. Are we going to try the double axe guy? I don't know who we're going to try yet. We'll see. I kind of want to try like a, a super strength guy and see how far we can take that. See how much damage we can do. Rather the flash of God or death itself, I will be consumed. Or she must be. Leader Sheeple, thank you for the 69 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. You 
never possess the metal for this crusader. You fail. Pretty cool. Okay. A Hollowed Knight is an endurance guy. The Udaranger Warwolf is the strength guy. Partisan is the all arounder. The Mornstead Infantry is what we just played, and it's like a spear user, kind of an agility tank. The Black Feather Ranger. Is like a light tank, from the looks of it, for the bow. The Exiled Stalker is the rogue. And this guy's tough. This, this guy was this guy was pretty tough. This is the guy we're gonna try next. This is the guy we're gonna try next. But I think for now, let's try this guy. Looking good, Thor. Thick boy. Looking cool, Joker. Lo, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus wisdom guide my hand. In the bestowment of this subsequent boon. This is a Souls like game? Yes. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Stay a while, Prove yourself so worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. Any early thoughts on the game? Uh, yeah, I have some early thoughts being put together right now, actually. Mm-hmm. Should be out later today. Curious how smooth co-op will be? We do not have any access to co-op currently, so I, I cannot answer any co-op questions. No. Oh, you're gonna be able to speed run the first three bosses by the time the game comes out? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, we got a little concerning for a second. Next slide, please. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. We already uh, doing some chungusing, I see. I'm here for it. It's gonna be nice having that endurance ring early. Those heavy attacks smack. I was directly on point. The game is bugged. Clearly.
Oh, that's the two-hand windup. So every weapon has a multi-strike. This is this is light attack. This is heavy attack. This is the multi-strike. It goes like down to up and then up to down. It's very slow, but it looks like it does a lot of damage. I wonder how much poise damage it does. What's the third bar in the top left? That's ammo for my throwing weapon. Hey, Kizmar. Hey, Gergda. How you guys doing? Did I restart? I did. I beat the embargo. Dude, how much stamina does a heavy attack cost? Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a lot. Okay. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Oh, oh, these come back? Well, that's interesting. Okay, good to know. Am I replaying? I am. Yep, this is my third character. I've really been enjoying the game. It's, it's slick, dude. It's a lot of fun. So far, this Chungus feels really good. We'll have to see in the first boss, but it's going to be interesting to see, like, he's doing good damage, but I'm not sure what his uh, his survivability is going to be like. I'm curious, does it show us? Yeah, physical block is 35%, so that means without perfect carries, we're going to be taking a ton of chip damage, a ton of wither damage. So, yeah. Correct thing. <laughs> Considering how much uh, stamina we're using for our attacks, it's a little concerning. Every class is amazing until the first boss. <laughs> then you figure out if the class is actually good. Am I playing a furry? I am. Yes. Seems a little clunky. I, well, I'm literally playing the strength character with a giant two-hand sword, and I'm using a two-hand. So if this was not clunky, it'd be weird. This is Clunker Supremo right now. Abandoned red cops. Can you quickly explain the two worlds aspects? Sure. This is the overworld. This is the underworld. Whenever you die in the overworld, you go to the underworld. When you die in the underworld, you die, die. When you're in the underworld, it's constantly getting stronger, 
and you're constantly taking what's called wither damage, which is the white part of your bar. I don't have any right now. Wither damage builds up whenever you block or parry, and it um, makes it so the next time you get hit, you lose all of the wither bar. So if you if your bar is fully withered and you get hit, you get one shot. If you attack an enemy while you have wither on your health bar, it reduces it. So it's a it's a cool system. It's kind of like a reverse bloodborne system, where instead of like taking damage and then like hitting the enemy to get or taking health damage and then taking the enemy to hit back health, it's kind of like a it's like a reverse ward, where the more damage you take, the more the ward builds up. And you can reduce it by attacking the enemy, but if you get hit, the ward explodes and you just take all that damage. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of a, a, a reverse bloodborne mechanic. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> I regret it. So you can see the enemy bar is withered. Now when I hit him, it all disappears. boss has been confirmed by the devs to be beatable. Give me that ramp. You can beat this boss at this stage of the game. You have to avoid all the hits at the beginning and wait for him to get on foot and then you basically can't get hit. You get hit once or something dead. So see, since we died in the overworld, now we're in the underworld. And now we have to die in this world. To die back. I love how fast your characters run. I hope they don't change that at all. I had to go back to the overworld when you go to the underworld. The underworld, I think, is called the Umbral Realm. And you go back by finding certain uh, little shrines. I have no words about New World. Me and thousands are stuck and we can't continue the main quest. Fix may happen in a few days, quotes. Lots of sponsored streamers saying the game is amazing right now. That's unfortunate, Julia. Sorry to hear. 
Is, I mean, there, is there other stuff you can do while the main quest gets fixed? Hey, Dutchie, what's up, bud? Corrupted Pilgrim Belled Cape. Wow, it has better physical than mine. Oh, it doesn't ring a ding ding? It doesn't ring my bell? I'm actually disappointed right now. I can do side stuff, but I can't access the expansion since systems are behind the main quest. Oh, that's a problem. I am sorry, dude. That sucks. Well, dang. I get we're gonna have to do it tomorrow morning. I just got word that I can I can show this, but guys, guys, guys. No. Look at this. I don't know what it is. I just like it showed up in the mail. I'm so excited for this. So I'll have to unbox it tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. It's a thing. I know, a thing. Oh, man. It's clearly a box. Clearly a box. Well, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow morning. First thing. I'm excited. What's the purpose of the Umbral Realm other than a second chance at life? Oh, the Umbral Realm, like, I, I don't know if you just noticed. So the Umbral Realm is like a different world on top of this one. So this is what this area looks like in the normal world. This is what it looks like in the Umbral Realm. So there's different enemies. There's different mechanics. There are puzzles to solve sometimes. It's it's like, um, it, it's it's basically just like a, a, a different world overlaid on this world. 